go. Yo. I'm like an addict, ooh, I gotta have it I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit If it moves, gotta grab it Fuse like a magnet, lose, won't have it Till I'm doomed in a casket I ain't playing, got a weird mind If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine If the shit tastes sour, you should taste mine I'ma stay in power for a long time Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter Hello, welcome to the Magician's Manor. My name is Jamal, aka The Dark Magician. Please come in and have a seat. Today, I just want to talk a little bit about ban evasion because I have seen quite a few inquiries around the YouTube streets and I have some questions myself. Now, I did go over the terms of service, but it doesn't really give you um, a clear breakdown on some of the questions I've seen and some of the questions that I have. Like, um, there was this bigger YouTuber named JayStation, and you know, he's like, he had like a couple million subs, and then his channel was terminated. Now, he had a backup channel that he used for different content. Now, mind you, he had this channel for over a year, I believe, before they caught him and terminated that backup channel for ban evasion. Now, my thing is this, I understand the terms of service says you can't have a channel um, if your other channel was terminated, I get that I understand it, but my thing is, why did it take you over a year to catch this? And I think that if the channel is different content and it's not the same content that the creators, um, you know, previously, you know, putting out there, I say, let them keep it. I mean, reward the change behavior, hope they stay on track and keep it moving, but to ban someone after a year, because in my opinion, if it's been a year, that's called YouTube's fault, um, get a better system of tracking, and then you won't have to go through these things, so that's just my opinion, but now on to the questions I had, now the first question is, I looked up was what actually is benefit, and you know, as far as the clinical sense, so give me a moment, I'll share my screen, All right, what is ban evasion? YouTube explicitly prohibits ban evasion in its terms of service. If your channel has been restricted due to a strike, you must not use another channel to circumvent these restrictions. So that's what ban evasion is on, on there and how they see it. Now, I want a little bit more clarification. So I actually tweeted Team YouTube and I will share that thread. Alrighty, so, you know, going to YouTube, uh, I tweeted to Team YouTube, I am working at Team YouTube, I am working on the video, need to have some questions, only YT can answer. Is there an email where I can submit them? Thank you for your time. They reply, thanks for reaching out, we might be able to help here. Share with us some more info or context so that we can point you in the right direction. I am doing a video on evasion, what that means, rules, etc. You can check out our community guidelines for more info. Another resource is a link about channel terminations here. Thank you. Quick question. If I have one channel I started in 2018 and another one in 2020, if the 2020 channel gets terminated, do I get to keep the 2018 channel as it was started before the 2020 channel? You to team YouTube. When a channel gets terminated, the owner isn't allowed to access, own, or create a new account. The links we shared have more info. In short, since the 2018 account is old and not too, I can still use it without penalty. Team YouTube, any associated accounts to the terminated channel will also be suspended. This applies for as long as the violation remains active on the other one and is considered circumvention under our terms of service. So even though you are appealing termination, you can't create a new channel. Got it. Another question, are banned terminated creators permitted to be on another creator's live stream as a panel guest? We recommend Team YouTube. We recommend reviewing our terms of service to know what isn't isn't allowed on YouTube. Thank you, but the TOS doesn't cover this question. Are banned terminated creators permitted to be on another creator's live stream as a panel guest? I just want to be sure I give out accurate information. Team YouTube, while we don't have the info to share, it's best to make sure that your content is in line with our TOS to avoid getting strikes and violations. Hope this helps clarify. Alrighty, so based on term of service combined with that tweet thread, the way I'm taking it and the way they've said it is that 
if one goes, they all go. <laughs> you know, there's no way around it. That's just the way they're saying it. So I have to go with what I see in the way they present it to me. Now, they couldn't answer me about can a Terminator creator be on, you know, another uh, live streamer's panel as a guest. So the way I take it is if there's no rule against it, like no clear rule, I would think it's okay. And the reason why I bring this up, I have heard other creators say, like, well, that person shouldn't be on your channel because it could get your channel terminated. And I've seen that all across YouTube. But I couldn't find anywhere where that's an actual rule. So I'm going to decide with if there's no rule, then it's okay. And I really wish people would kind of just do their research on things. You know, there's nothing wrong with asking a question. Don't pretend to know because you know what? Spreading false information, especially when it goes to channel termination and bans, really can send the community into a panic. It makes creators scared, like, you know, especially if the creator in question is a friend of theirs. So there's no reason to do that to someone. You know, it's not right. It's not fair. You know, no one should have to feel that way. We should all be able to um, come on YouTube and have fun and have a good time, stuff like that. It shouldn't be, like, you know an arduous situation, arduous, uncomfortable feeling, you know? Like, we all love YouTube, um, and it's a great place to be, but we all have to be mindful with the information we put out there. Now, that being said, I think that I've covered all that YouTube has given me, and I will say, Abracadabra, Magician, out. You could try to play, but you're never gonna be me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Bloody hands break through the chains, go free me People like sheep move feet, hurt it easy You don't wanna be fast asleep when they see me Better stay tall, ready for a fight, believe me When they try the chains, you can say no, free me